The praying mantis, one of the most fascinating and distinctive species of the insect world. No we're not going to talk about zebras, neither flamingos. Not sharks, no. Nope. Yes, mantises. Braying mantises absolutely love watching old movies, especially the ones about kung fu. After years and years of watching kung fu movies, generations of mantises have passed on the discipline of martial arts, which makes them even cooler than what they already are. Mantises have developed an electronic radar scan, with which they track their prey. Once locked on a target, they're not distracted by other more succulent prey. When not hunting, they watch movies in their iPods. They commit to the kill, settling for a flying hamburger, instead of a flying steak. Not all mantises do kung fu and devour butterflies all day long. Some enjoy the fine arts too, such as this young Batman mantis. Members of this subspecies literally shit out crafty little things, like this elegant ethnic vase. Since Batman mantises always hang upside down, the vase itself is quite non-functional, so one could think of it as more of an installation. Here's a pair of bicurious mantises, flexing their muscles, while doing yoga in the morning, a bit to show off to one another, a bit to check each other out. The Mary Jane mantis is easily spotted, because it walks weird, and waves its forelegs in front of its face. It is commonly found around cannabis plants, and spends most of its time being high as a kite, fiddling with its spines. It does not even care about scores of tantalizing prey as they dandily stroll just centimeters away. A cherry cricket even taunts it, cheekingly stopping in its tracks for a second. This jaunty caterpillar also has its bit of fun, as it freaks out the little Mary Jane mantis. As they watch a movie, they usually get the munchies. The brownie beetle climbing nearby is a perfect snack, since these beetles are the brownies equivalent of the insect variety. Simply irresistible to a stoner. Upon the dew dotted green leaves, a quaint scenario unfolds. A bicurious mantis and a cinnamon mantis meet by chance, the former quite intrigued by the latter. The bicurious mantis tries to impress the other by dramatically showing where the emergency exits are located, but the cinnamon mantis is not receptive of such odd advances. This pushes the former to become aggressive, as it grabs the unsuspecting fellow and kisses him passionately boldly satisfying its hidden urges. This frog mantis, just realized that it's being stalked by, of all predators, a frog, while being very aware of both the situation and the irony. The frog mantis gets out of sight without losing its composure to the puzzlement of the frog. The Godzilla Mantis, the frog mantis's bigger, protective cousin. Note in point, 
The Godzilla mantis is found in France start eating frogs by the legs first. Some species of mantises can fly, like this old smuggler mantis, which of course is flying under the cover of darkness. You know those low-flying small planes you hear at night, barely with any lights on? Anyway, a dangerous winged predator has just acknowledged its presence, taking off on a blind but well-aimed pursuit. Luckily for the mantis, it had to have an artificial heart put in a few years back, which now happens to falter briefly making it spiral down and getting the bat off its ass. What's funny is that praying mantises are atheist, apart from a few Buddhist ones, and there's a species to whom humans pray to, the boss mantis. The boss mantis dictates divine dogma to his worshippers, and seems to have a whole lot of fun with it. A paranoid mantis, which fortunately didn't notice the spying mantis perched still to the right. Paranoid mantises are bloodily fidgety. The lobster mantis. Lobster mantises actually taste more like shrimp, although that's not to be confused with mantis shrimp and I wouldn't know what a shrimp mantis would taste like. This hooker mantis, in her typical bright attire, kinky boots and gloves, is just wrapping up another stint on the beat, as a leering buffalo cricket, has set its beady eyes on her. The cricket is obviously drunk, and determined, but the mantis doesn't feel like it at all and scuttles along. Not only will the unlucky buffalo cricket, not get laid, but also serve as breakfast for this snowball mantis. Snowball mantises get teased a lot in school, but they don't fuck around as adults. Oh, they love their buffalo wings. Despite the sheer difference in size, these two corncob mantises belong to the same subspecies. Only, one of them is a midget. Among mantises, intercourse with a midget is not a fetish, like in porn, it is instead a common practice. Other subspecies, like this couple of omelette mantises, indulge in foreplay. Here's some sweet 69. It is not known why most female mantises enjoy smaller or midget partners, maybe it is indeed some sort of chick mantis thing. The making out gets so intense, at times, that the female gets a tad carried away, lustfully biting and chewing on the male's face, until she eats the whole head. The humping, I mean the mating, carries on nonetheless, since that's what men are good for, mindless shagging. As the female is already washing up and putting makeup on, the bloke starts to look for his head, all confused, still with a wet dick. You hot bitch. You go, girl. Baby mantises hang out of the egg sac like slimy little ninjas, then scamper around. Like in all big families, there's always the asshole siblings. Fucking mantises. They will rule the world. <laughs>